Pyramids are lower resolution versions of a raster data set that are more suitable for display on a monitor. Without pyramids, the computer will attempt to render each and every pixel in a raster data set, whether the computer monitor can display all the detail or not. So having pyramids greatly decreases the time it takes to render a raster on screen. So here I have QGIS desktop open with the clipped DEM from task 1. To check whether my raster has pyramids or not, I'll open the layer properties for this clipped DEM. And I'll go to the pyramids tab. Currently this raster doesn't have any pyramids. You see the red X's next to various resolutions. Conveniently, this is also where I can build pyramids if I like. Pyramids can be embedded within the raster file, and in this overview format that would be the internal setting, or built externally. It's safer to build them externally since this doesn't alter the original data set. The external pyramid file can always be deleted if it doesn't have the desired results. To build them, I'll just select the pyramid levels I want, use the control key to select all five. I need to set the resampling method. Generally speaking, nearest neighbor is most suitable for discrete rasters since it won't change the values of the cells. The average, gauss, and cubic techniques are more suitable for continuous rasters such as this DEM. These techniques will cause some smoothing of the data and may result in some values that are beyond the original range. Here I'll choose cubic. Then I'll click build pyramids. This data set is small enough that you may not notice an improvement in drawing speed. However, it can be quite dramatic in large rasters when they're over 100 megabytes in size. So now these are the pyramid resolutions that were built by this process. So now I'll open up a file browser. I'm on a Windows 7 machine. What you use will depend on your operating system. In Windows, you can use Windows Explorer as I'm doing here. If you're on a Mac, you can use Finder. And on Linux, you could use files. And I'm in the Lab 5 folder. And there's this new studyarea.ovr file. This is the file containing the pyramids. In this lab, you focused on preparing raster data so that it seamlessly covers a study area. You also learned how to build pyramid files for a raster data set.